the eastern bluebird was a bird that was was in kind of in trouble years ago but a lot of people began using the making bluebird boxes and and to me i don't know we have five to eight pair of breeding pairs around our house this is a, a female out by the dove field and i know they've had a brood already because i was watching them the other day really beautiful bird <laughs> these feathers really aren't blue okay they're brown but our light refracts the color blue if you actually take the feather and look under it under a microscope with the microscope light you'll see the brown and, and the same thing would apply to the blue jay you know our light shows it to be blue color sometimes i do sometimes i don't if it's late summer and i don't and i go up to a box I'll open it up, and if there's a nest in there and nothing in, I will pull it out and make. You know, you get, you, you will have chickadees, titmice uh, birds, uh, prothonotary warblers will use boxes like that. Usually the whole size prevents predation from other birds, <laughs> although I guess it is possible. Snakes, nice. uh, <laughs> if you look at my pole that the birds are on, they're wrapped in barbed wire. And that's to keep those two cats from climbing up and sitting on top of the box waiting for them. <laughs> we basically keep bluebirds year round. They will migrate, but we keep we keep, you know, birds pretty much year round if the winter is not uh, a really particular cold. But if it gets really cold, they'll pile up in a box. You'll you'll get a whole you'll get four or five or so uh, piled up in a box. Bluebirds like to sit uh, on telephone wires too. Uh, and what this bird is doing is he's looking for an insect on the ground. They, they're primarily a, a insect eater. And one of the best things you can do is cut your grass. And, and you know, in the insect world, you have bugs that are right on the ground in, in the grass. Then you got bugs that are a little higher up, and then you got your grasshoppers and katydids that are at the end. So by managing your grass height, you make, uh, you cut and leave strips, little strips where they can walk around and feed and find bugs. That, you know, and so this is what that those bluebirds. This one's sitting. He's sitting in the pecan tree uh, behind the house, and boom, he's on the ground. And, and this one's. The males actually do a lot of the feeding uh, once the birds are out and about, and this, this male is actually feeding that young one there. Uh, so, so cutting your grass, that's one thing you can do for your insect eater uh, birds.